Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay. All right, let's have a look and see what comes out today. Let's just get three cards to start with. Right, okay. There's somebody here who I just, just see them, they just keep playing with your heart, really. Okay, this person plays with your heart. They come back, they leave. There's definitely closure issues sat in the centre of this spread today. That's the main problem. They don't give you closure because for them, I don't feel it's over, but they just keep playing with your heart. I just see sort of like strings. They are watching you, okay? This person, whoever it is, whoever I'm connecting in today, whatever energy is coming through, somebody is watching you from a distance. But I feel they, oh gosh, it's a sort of energy where you can't live with them, but you can't live without them, okay? They keep playing with your heartstrings, but at the moment they are feeling lost without you they've got some deep emotional issues going on here so i'm going to look at their energy okay and see see what comes through today just while i'm shuffling this so if you would like a personal reading if you just click on the title of this video it's all in the description box and the free relationship report as well okay i'm going to clarify each of these cards now and see what we've got right okay your person's quite manipulative, okay? Yeah, they, they are manipulative. I'm getting with this clarification here that at some point, some secrets are going to be exposed, but intuitively you know that's coming, okay? Especially if you're Pisces. If, you, if you've got Pisces in your chart, sun, moon or rising, you know something is going to be revealed. You've known about it for ages, okay? That is going to come out. Right, okay. Yeah, your person, they, they really have got some really deep emotional issues here. They still have a lot of passion for you. They would like a reconciliation. I've got the Ace of Wands sat in the middle here okay so basically it's almost i've got an energy of they sort of set sail and disappear and then they come back in okay this is their issue here it's some heartbreak from the past that they haven't healed which is causing them to act like this okay they would like to find a way to offer you an olive branch but they didn't give you any closure they didn't give you any closure here they left you hanging on twisting in the wind um, waiting 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 I am feeling today that even if you ask them and you ask them logically and pleasantly if they could give you some answers they couldn't they couldn't they just bottled it up they bottled so much up they know to come back in they're going to have to be very very truthful and they've got some consequences to face here with you um they weren't they didn't show a lot of integrity where you were concerned like i said they played the victim a bit they didn't give you closure you were waiting around for this person a lot but it's it goes way beyond your relationship this with them it goes way beyond it so like they just can't open up it, I, I feel it's going back to their childhood I'm going to clarify a little bit more going back to what I was feeling earlier with something's going to come out that you intuitively knew about you're going to you're going to win okay you're going to be proved right you know you're right you've been right all along with this okay you've been right all along with this especially if there was no closure you knew the truth here but this has clarified that and it says you are going to win you are going to have the upper hand here in something okay a lot of fire 
Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You're going to be riding high soon. You're going to be riding high soon. Let's see what else is coming out, please, in their energy. Okay, clarifying the olive branch they want to come to offer. It's following, I guess, how are we? It's following down in the line here. They would like to arrive again. They would like to come back in again. Okay, they're hopeful. They're hopeful that you will listen to them at least but what's going on in their energy is there some either a family drama or they've got some unexpected changes going on in their finances and i've been mean big changes here um they could have lost their job they could be losing their property they could be having some inheritance problems with their family or their business isn't doing very well and at the worst outset you know they might not be able to make their mortgage payments or bankruptcy. I'm giving you those examples because it is major. It's not a little financial blip here, but it does speak about family problems, okay? Which is what I was getting, that they have some emotional baggage from their childhood. I feel that this person had coping mechanisms excuse me, that they developed as a child, that they had brought into their relationships, okay? I think this person had quite a lot of heartbreak during their childhood, um, that they weren't listened to, they were almost ridiculed, okay? I'm getting specifically today getting a large family, okay? More than two siblings, I'm getting a large family here that fed off each other, the parents were slightly dysfunctional, okay? I feel the father figure in this relationship um, was the main breadwinner, but everybody knew about it. This father figure controlled the finances. And this led to emotional problems with your person. And they've carried this on into their adulthood. They don't like being questioned. They pull their emotions back because that's the only way they can control it. I feel going back to their childhood, this breaks the heart because they weren't heard. So when they now try to speak to you, <clears throat> sorry, when you try to speak to them or put a point of view across, they won't listen. I feel deep down it's not because they don't want to listen. They developed this mechanism of what I say is right and what I do is right because as a young person they weren't allowed to. There was a lot of fighting in this family, a fighting for attention, fighting for love. I'm also getting to say to you that it didn't just cause your person problems, it caused another sibling problems as well. Okay, they have got some deep emotional trauma. I'm just going to clarify that card. Yeah, someone in your person's environment has been very immature with their finances. Gosh, it's quite a, a, I'm trying to explain what I'm channeling. Like I said, it's a person who, as a child or something, wasn't allowed to speak their mind. They weren't allowed to be themselves. So as they've grown up, they now are very, very stubborn. But on the flip side, because they weren't allowed to develop properly as a child, they are also very immature with money and expect people to bail them out. Okay, this person's energy could... There's a lot of external factors here affecting your person. A lot of external factors are affecting them. I'm seeing that they could just be going back to family for recognition. Okay, they know their family was dysfunctional. This is specific today, so if it's not you reading, don't try and make it fit. They know their family was dysfunctional, okay? But they still go back. They're trying to get some form of recognition, okay? This person, your person, has deep, deep, deep down got a very low self-esteem because of the childhood issues. They go back to the family for recognition. I was getting that earlier, they just all feed off each other. And then 
Maybe the family bail them out. Okay? But then the whole family's fighting. But this has affected their relationships with you. Their relationship with you. So at the moment, they are just watching you. Okay? They are just watching you. With a hope, with, with, a, with a hoping they can come back. Your person can be quite obsessive as well. But it's the sort of person that's not that... They'll focus on one thing. Like, they'll be focusing on one thing. Even if the whole of everything else is falling down around their ears, they're just focused on that thing. Okay, that is their version of reality. That's how they keep themselves safe. That and not revealing their emotions and the fact that they keep coming back in and back out. They are not able to have, I would call it, a grown-up, healthy, integrated conversation because they haven't integrated their traumas from the past. Okay? So they don't give you closure, they don't discuss anything with you, and then they just move on. But then they realise that they feel lost without you. It's just a cycle, okay? And then all they do is they just watch you in some shape or form, just to see what you're doing. I think going back to that information that's going to be revealed, I've, I've got a feeling it's got something to do with money. Um, you're going to get, you are going to win something. I'm just going to just have a card on that, please. Right, this is specific. If you know your person went to a third party and they totally and utterly lied and said that you were crazy making and they were gaslighting you and they were like focusing out, you were right, okay? There was some third party interference in here, but you're going to win that. So if you are manifesting this person back in and there is a third party, you will be successful. Okay, you will be successful here. Let's just have one more. Yeah, double truth card clarifying this section of my read. The truth's coming out. You are going to get the truth on that okay I feel if they've gone to a third party they're definitely not happy that they're, they're not happy at all you know I, I just think because, until this person addresses their their wounds or whatever's gone on in their life they won't be able to have a healthy relationship okay and this this brought you down a lot you know I think for some of you you were gaslighted here okay but I I don't think they'll be able to have a healthy relationship until they face their truth, okay? I'm going to say to you, you are protected, your spirit guides, your angels are protecting you. Be patient, be patient. You're going to have your day with something, okay? Whatever it is, whatever your story is, you are going to have your day. You are going to be successful and you are going to be riding high again. Okay, if you're feeling unsupported at the moment, you are going to have support systems coming in. Okay, and if you're working on something else, don't give up. Don't don't give up now. Even if you think there's too much competition or, or whatever, you are going to win. Okay, you are going to win this. You are going to win. But let's just see what else is going on in your person's environment. And then I'm going to see what their deepest feelings for you are. Just see if we can get a picture here. Yeah, there's a lot, quite a lot of arguments in their environment. That's what I was getting. I just see a lot, a lot of people. Unexpected changes are causing arguments. There's, there's some unexpected changes here that are causing arguments. They've got some, the person's got some bad news coming in, something to do with money or physical matters, you know, or whether it's their job, you know, something in the physical realm. I don't mean emotional, but there's bad news coming in for them. They 
know they didn't appreciate you. They know they didn't appreciate you. What else is going on in their environment, please? It's the second time that's come out in their energy. It came out first, heartbreak. They're heartbroken without you. But they've got to do the work. You know, what they're getting now is their karma. Okay? They cheated you badly, and now they're getting the karma. They are sat in the justice card. They're in the karma. Okay? They're in the karma. They have got consequences here, specifically financial consequences. They... They listen to too many other people's beliefs on something, okay? They, 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 it's almost like they were a sheep. They just followed somebody else's beliefs. Whereas you told them right from the get-go, and this is what the, the information that you told them that they denied is coming out. That's where this truth is coming in, and you're going to win. But it's just like they're a sheep. They're very, very... I don't know, with a certain group, certain family, there's a real mixed up energy and they just follow like a sheep, okay? They are just following like a sheep. They haven't got an opinion. Yeah, they want you to rescue them. I think you've rescued this person before. I said it's specific today, but I feel in the past that you have rescued this person before and to start with you've had conversations where your person's agreed with what you're saying but then slowly they get almost like sucked back into this other energy like I said like a sheep they they feel the need to be validated by other people okay that is the back and forth energy here but with you they kind of almost gaslight you. Controlling, I'm getting, because they have such low self-esteem because of their, their past. Let's see what else we've got. Father figure. Yeah, the father figure's come out. They definitely had something to do. They had a tricky relationship with a, a strong male. It could be a father, it could be an uncle, but someone they had a, a difficult relationship, okay? And unfortunately, these things go down the ancestral line, you grow up in that environment, and they bring that energy into their most closest intimate relationships, okay? Right. Going back to what I was saying about the house, the bankruptcy, that the family could be losing inheritance or um, the families could be fighting over something. Your person's very concerned about some official paperwork. Okay. Very, very concerned. It's keeping them up at night. This is stressing them as well. It's like you, you can live with them, but you can't live with them. You know, they want you to rescue them. They want you to rescue them now. Um, let's just get the Normans out. This is pretty. The Normans very blunt and to the point. Yeah, your person is at a crossroads. They've got a decision to make between one relationship and another. And I feel that's between where they are now and you. Okay, they have got a decision to make. I think for some of you, they know they have to start putting you first and not all these other people. They would like a new beginning with you. Your person, like I said, can be a little bit immature. It definitely, the child's come out. It's definitely got something to do with a family childhood dynamic. That is why they are back and forth. It's their attachment style. Now, this is no good for you. You know, you've been working on yourself. You're getting your mojo back. You can't heal this person, okay? You, you can't heal them until they realise and face their karma for what they've done to you. Then they will just keep repeating this cycle, okay? They have got to heal themselves. 
They're going to get in touch though. They are going to get in touch with you. Um, just a very quick, small message. Could be a little bit of a, a childish message actually. I think this person can be a bit childish at times. Um, they just didn't have gold, good role models growing up. But they are going to reach a decision and they are going to come forward. Let's just have two more. How's this going? Yeah. That's your energy come out. Let's see what the ending is. Oh, right. Okay. For some of you, you've had these messages back and forth. Yeah, for some of you, you've had these messages back and forth recently. Okay, the central energy in Melanormand is a message coming in. It's going to be a small, possibly childish message. It's about a decision they want to discuss with you. Ace of Wands, Olive Branch. But they're still going back and forth. You, these messages could be going back and forth now, or if they're not, they will be. They're going to be a little bit childish. Okay, like I say, until they face their just their karma, until they actually take a step back and say, "Look, yeah, you know, I I I was this, I was this, you know, I was dishonest, um, you know, I had no accountability, and every time." I had to be held accountable, I'd do a runner, okay? Unless they address what's inside them, I see these messages just going back and forth. In, out, in, out. It's, it's hot and cold behaviour. Yeah, they are going to come back in, but I feel it's going to be hot and cold. It's the, the energy where you'll get a message, but it, it won't, it'll be an immature message, it's just going to be immature, not like, hi, how are you, something along the lines of, I don't know, just, just silly, that doesn't make sense, and this is going to go back and forth, okay, this is going to go back and forth. Yeah, it's, um, the moment this person has to admit they've done something wrong they just want their freedom back oh let's just have a few more and let's just see how this is all going to end up let's try this step yeah they do everything by the book they follow the herd this is another card that's saying exactly the same so, so this is a strong message and also it's it's in the energy today so this energy is still there they just they just follow the herd they do everything by the book. They're very narrow-minded, okay? But they're very narrow-minded and they do everything, like I say, everything by the book. But it's almost with their own family. The fa their family seem to get away with more than you ever did. Yeah, they want to come in and mend some fences with you, but... You're being asked just to go with the flow, especially when these messages come in. Okay, if you're getting these messages now that don't make any sense, or you might have a message, then you don't get another one for two weeks. Just go with the flow. Keep your own thoughts positive, your boundaries, love yourself. If you feel yourself getting sucked back into this energy that they're projecting, take a step back and just remember how amazing you are. Okay? Go with the flow, just relax. Let's see what the best possible outcome is, please, here. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. They're, they're still going to be juggling, whatever they're juggling, okay? Their attention is not going to be solely focused on you. They are going to have... Now, if they come back in and they you feel that they are being loving and kind because you'll know you've got very good intuition okay you've got really good intuition then they will be juggling money or they could be juggling jobs so they are going to bring an energy back of a lot of responsibilities they've got on their shoulders 
if not, they are still going to bring that energy in where they don't devote all their attention to you. So if the family scenario is yours, if this is your reading, then they are still going to be dragged back into that snake pit. I don't know why that came out, but it did snake pit. They're going to get dragged back into that. Okay, so advice for you. It's an energy of someone who wants a cake and they want to eat it. Okay, advice for you, please. Oh my gosh, you come out as Queen of Cups. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love yourself. Love yourself. You're very empathetic, very kind, very caring, very gorgeous. Just an amazing, amazing person. Look after yourself. Don't let this person lower your self-esteem. You are going to win something, as I said earlier in this read. And remember, you can't... And it doesn't surprise me that cards come out. You can't heal them. You can't love them better. Okay, that's their job. They have to heal themselves. They have to make the change. They have to decide. They have to, you know, man up or whatever. They've got to do that. You need to protect your boundaries, your empathy, your love. Love yourself. Okay? love yourself so i hope that's helped someone today thanks so much for watching and thank you so so much for all the likes and comments and subscribes i read all my comments and i'm sending you all my love loads bucket loads of energy just keep doing you okay just unashamedly just do you all right personal readings all in the description box i love you loads and i'll speak to you soon bye